welcome to GFR's chemistry channel today we are going along with a new area from our periodic table chapter that is here especially I am discussing about ionization enthalpy ionization enthalpy actually the definition you may read in 10th class onwards that is very simple definition only but here we need how to apply this uh, as we come down the group what happened there as we move along the period what happened there everything I will explain you just follow me okay listen here ionization and alpi first definition it is a minimum amount of energy required to remove one electron from the outermost shell of a gaseous atom you get minimum amount of energy required to remove just you can assume this is an atom this is outermost electron just one electron only you can assume okay the minimum amount of energy required to remove this electron from the outermost shell of a gaseous atom okay then here i am writing the minimum amount of energy minimum amount of energy required to remove outermost electron outermost electron from the gaseous atom outermost electron from the gaseous atom it is a minimum amount of energy required to remove one electron from the outermost shell of a gaseous atom just listen here when I choose sodium here sodium sodium may be converted to Na plus one electron can be removed here to remove this when I keep sodium here sure they will not donate electron we want to apply something there especially here we want to apply the energy first of all we know sodium is in the form of solid sodium in solid now I am converting this like this this solid sodium converted to gaseous sodium now this one will be converted to uh, positive ion that means they donated one electron this energy here how much energy required what energy required here that is called as ionization enthalpy here we know simply you may know that the along the period what happened down the group what happened that we know okay listen here uh, along the period in a period that means as we move from left to right in a period this is a period what happened ionization enthalpy ionization enthalpy should be increases I will explain you what is the reason then as we come down the group same ionization enthalpy will be decreases okay first of all we want to go on along with this one along the period what happened if I say like this actually that is wrong as we move from left to right in a period ionization enthalpy will be increased that is a common fact only but they are having number of uh, special cases also there that one by one I will explain you just listen here now along the period what happened ionization and that will be increased what is the reason there there only simply we are able to say that effective nuclear charge effective nuclear charge will be increases if the effective nuclear charge increase how can we explain that one here listen here here this one is the nucleus we know that accordance with the atomic theory Dalton's atomic theory electrons are revolving around the nucleus in a definite path electrons are revolving around the nucleus in a definite path that electron may be here here I am noticing outermost electron only number of cells are there we don't want to bother about that now here the outermost shell electron and nucleus sure between them having an attraction that attraction is called as effective nuclear charge the attractive force effect with the outermost electron the actual charge effect with the outermost electron is called as nuclear charge simply we are able to say the attraction between outermost electron and nucleus is called as simply we are able to say that what effective nuclear charge if that attraction is more sure we are unable to take off easily we are unable to take off this one easily now the ionization and that will be increased but actually what is our purpose I want to remove electron 
I want to remove outermost electron that will be very difficult. Then effective nuclear charge increases, ionization enthalpy also increases. Otherwise, we are able to say that size decrease. We know that left to right moving time in our period, size will be decreased. If the size is decreased, sure the removal of electron will be very difficult. One example, uh, we have one chick and number of child. One chick, here one chick. Then here, number of childs are here. Just you can assume, one chick, one parent chick have only two, two child. Other chick may have number of child, one, two, three, four, gone like that, number of child. Sure, when a crow came, in this case, this parent, this mother chick are ready to care of these two child very properly. Therefore, if the crow are came there, then uh, these two child will be under to the wings of that parent chick. But in this case, look here, very bigger one, number of, number of chicks are there. Sure, when a crow came, that crow are able to take off very easily. Same case here also. Out, if the size of atom is bigger, on that time, ionization and enthalpy will be smaller. It is a common concept only. But, number of special cases are there. Listen here. When I take first group, first group, second group, these two group, what we call this one? This one is called as S block element. This is our S block element. Here I am taking uh, this one, hydraulic soap, ruby and scissor put into fried rice. Hydraulic, hydrogen, lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, francium. Bejarai, mujuka, beryllium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium, radium. These all are the second group elements. Look here, in this case, just you can take any of the example. Here I am choosing lithium and beryllium. We know that the atomic number of lithium equal to here 3 and here 4. Okay, along the period 1-1 one, one atomic number, otherwise 1-1 one, one electron can be increased. Due to that reason, the number of proton increases, therefore why nuclear charge also increases. It is another matter. Just listen here. When I write the electronic configuration of lithium, here we get 1s2 and 2s1. If we wrote this one, here we get 1s2, 2s2 are there. Look here, here one electron will be extra in this case. Therefore, the removal will be very difficult. Like this, here this is a nucleus, outermost shell, first shell and outermost shell have only one. In this case, first shell, outermost shell have two. We know that negative and positive in our world, in every particles, charge may be opposite. Negative and positively charged particles should be attracted together. Here also like that. This you can assume, inside the nucleus the proton are located. Therefore, why the charge of uh, nucleus will be positive and electron charge, what is the charge of electron? That is negative. Then, they will be attracted together. Here only one attraction, but here two outermost attractions are there. If the attraction will be increases, then the size will be decreased. Then the removal of electron will be difficult. That is a common concept. But, if you consider second and thirteenth group, we want to take a second group and 13th group in our actual rule left to right moving ionization enthalpy will be increases on accordance with that rule 13th group should be ionization enthalpy should be higher than that of second group but that is wrong here i want to change second group greater than 13th group write any of the examples here beryllium and here boron 13th group first member boron Boron atomic number equal to 5, beryllium atomic number equal to 4. When I wrote the electronic configuration, 1s2, 2s2 are here. Here, 1s2, 2s2, then 2p1. We know that p orbital has three sub part. What is that? That is equal to p means like this. We are able to draw like this. First one px, second one py, third one pz. Here only one electron only entered here. In P only one level only filled. Now look here, this is highly unsymmetrical. If they are unsymmetrical, then removal of electron will be very easy. 
if this is unsymmetrical sure this one will be unsymmetrical okay therefore the removal of electron will be very easy now we are able to say that ionization enthalpy of second group higher than 13th group this is a special case don't forget that uh, here i am writing that speciality okay not here second group ionization enthalpy greater than 13th group what is the reason there here configuration ns2 but here configuration ns2 np1 are the configuration that is the difference now next case here we were taken 15th group and 16th group actually what we need 16th group higher than 15th group here also some of the correction there 15th group greater than 16th group just opposite of our uh, regular concept listen here when i taken here nitrogen and here oxygen okay pasha and the by but here oh sasi tapo look here nitrogen 7 and oxygen 8 electronic configuration we are able to write like this 1s2 2s2 then 2p3 are here in the case of oxygen 1s2 2s2 2p4 are here try to check here p only px py pz here 1 2 3 electrons are properly thoroughly attached in this case to p orbital outermost level 1 2 3 and fourth four electron are here therefore fourth electron will be attached here look here it is highly unsymmetrical oxygen unsymmetrical one is shared pair of electron other two are otherwise one is lone paired electron other two are unpaired electrons therefore it is unsymmetrical then the removal of this electron will be very easy removal of this electron will be very easy but look here all are symmetrical less stable configuration are there then if you want to remove the electron we want to apply high energy okay therefore why 15th group higher than 16th group everything we are able to explain by using the electronic configuration okay this is the next case then want to notice here next not this one 15th group ionization enthalpy higher than 16th group reason here ns2 np3 look here then this one ns2 np4 unsymmetrical okay then we are able to write i am uh, doing here second period ionization enthalpy order all of you just to keep in your mind this all points are sure this is a, a that much important area for our competitive exams don't forget that i am writing here this one second period ionization enthalpy 18th group neon sure left to right in a period last group will be our noble lazy gases that is he ni yaar krishnan sita or raman their outermost shell are completely filled they attained already octa they are stable that means in 18th group look here in 18th group outermost electronic configuration will be ns2 np6 highly symmetrical already all electrons are paired there there is no unpaired electron therefore neon 18th group neon second period 18th group neon first then after that fluorine after that nitrogen then oxygen then carbon then beryllium then boron then last one lithium look here the corrections were here the correction occurred here the correction occurred and here also the correction occurred don't forget that second group ionization and that'll be higher than that of 13th group and 15th group ionization and that'll be higher than that of 16th group then you may have one doubt here also just I taken fluorine and oxygen listen very carefully fluorine and oxygen fluorine total number of electron 9 here 8 electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p5 are here here 1s2 2s2 2p4 are here try to make here here in p orbital here also p orbital this one p orbital in this case in the case of oxygen 
p orbit uh, sorry fluorine 1 2 3 4 5 here 1 2 3 4 look here this also unpaired here this two are unpaired both are unsymmetrical but in this case unsymmetrical that okay but the effective nuclear charge will be higher effective nuclear charge will be higher that is the problem okay if the effective nuclear charge is increased electron removal tendency will be very less therefore why the ionization enthalpy will be increases there don't forget this order then this all i am saying only the period period only as we come down the group so near group in a group what happened there as we come down the group ionization enthalpy will be decreases look here lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium francium sure here only two orbitals are there here that will converted to three orbital here that is converted to four orbital gone like that if the number of orbitals are increased sure the size increased if the size increased electron removal will be very diff very easy there if the size is higher electron removal will be very easy therefore minimum ionization enthalpy shown by who 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 minimum ionization enthalpy shown by our cesium first group element is cesium francium we don't want to consider reason all seventh period elements are radioactive therefore why we don't want to bother about that okay this all are the ionization enthalpy term along the period generally ionization enthalpy increases down the group generally ionization enthalpy will be decreases then next point successive ionization enthalpy successive ionization enthalpy successive ionization enthalpy means till now we were discussed only removal of one electron after the removal of one electron we are able to remove second third fourth gone like that but directly we are unable to donate second electron first one electron donated after that the second electron after that the third electron has we move like that only now listen here one example maybe we taken aluminum total number of electron equal to 13 here we are able to write like this electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 2 plus 2 4 plus 6 10 then here 3s2 and 3p1 look very carefully here when i remove one electron here now first ionization enthalpy will be shown when i remove this one 3s2 converted to 3s1 now second ionization enthalpy also over when i remove this one now the shell also removed that means that is called as third ionization enthalpy here successive ionization enthalpy means the number of ionization enthalpies are collectively called as successive ionization enthalpy not only one one two three gone like that all ionization enthalpy together we are able to say that successive ionization enthalpy don't forget here one condition ionization enthalpy otherwise we were taken delta h here third ionization enthalpy greater than second ionization enthalpy greater than first ionization enthalpy why like this we know that size of cation will be smaller than that of parent atom meaning when i take on one atom here a a here now it will be converted to a plus a plus okay now the size will be decreased reason effective nuclear charge will be increased what is the meaning of that I'll explain you. Just listen here. When I take on one nucleus, outermost shell inside I have a number of shells. We don't want to bother now. Here maybe one, two, three, four are there. Okay, clear. Four electrons are there. Sure, nucleus with the positive charge and electron with the negative charge are attracted together. Just you can assume their total amount of energy we may take on ten joule. Then one electron, how much got? only 2.5 only now every electron got 2.5 only clear all of you 2.5 only that much attraction will be shown here now okay i removed one more electron 
I removed one electron from there. Now the outermost shell have three electron only. But now also total charge should be 10 joule. Charge there is no variation there. Therefore that 10 can equally shared with three electron. In first case 10 joule equally shared with four electron. Now 10 joule equally shared with three electron. Then the first case 2.5 joule only available for every one electron. Now here everyone got 3.33. Sure the attraction will be increased. Then size decreased. If the size decreased ionization enthalpy will be increases. Therefore ionization enthalpy of cation is higher than that of parent atom. Don't forget that. In some of the cases, otherwise, unit, what is a unit of ionization enthalpy? Unit of ionization enthalpy. That is joule per mole. So many question paper, we were getting this one in electron volt. Instead of joule per mole, they were given electron volt. But in options, they are given only kilojoule per mole or joule per mole only. Then I will explain you how can we convert that one. Then here given hydrogen first ionization enthalpy equal to 13.58 electron volt. 13.58 electron volt. Then you can keep in your mind 1 electron volt equal to 94.49. Sorry 96.49. Uh, 96 1 electron volt equal to 96.49 kilojoule per mole when I multiply that one here therefore ionization enthalpy of hydrogen in kilojoule per mole equal to 13.58 multiplied by 96.49 that is equal to 1310.334 kilojoule per mole if you want to convert that one in joule per mole again multiplied by 10 power 3 then you will get joule per mole there Okay, don't forget this value. 1 electron volt equal to 96.49 kilojoule per mole. That values you want to keep in your mind.